It's British engineering at its finest. Being developed right now with radical new technology and technical skills. And a very large slice of imagination. This is Astagan. Spanning the width of three London buses, it's an aircraft which has been created for a very special reason. A high-altitude, solar-powered platform. Its whole weight is less than that of two grown men. Designed specifically to sit for three months at a time, 67,000 feet above the Earth. A spot in the atmosphere where benign, gentle conditions make it perfect for an Earth observation platform. It's incredibly lightweight, with every gram considered and reviewed to ensure that the platform meets its full potential and, of course, maximises its payload. It's truly a privilege to work with this team of engineers on, on this endeavour. The collective skills and the will to succeed is just really special. The idea for the platform came from a team of inventors and Ordnance Survey. Innovation is at the heart of Ordnance Survey's activities for, for 227 years. We're deploying sort of machine learning algorithms, artificial intelligence, to extracting new value out of both imagery and sense data more generally. And so it's really a fascinating history we're building on here. And now Astagan adds another dimension, fit for a new age of mapping. New cameras and sensors are an integral part of the project to create pinpoint accurate geographical data in GB and across the world. It's so versatile. The platform is designed to carry a whole variety of payloads and sensors. It gives us, for example, environmental opportunities uh, where we can monitor polar ice, coral reefs, we can monitor volcanic activity, even cosmic radiation. The list is endless. If you look at satellite technology, it's quite expensive in order to achieve the high resolution um, because the satellites are a long way away from the ground. If you look at traditional aircraft on their flying programs, access to uh, cities due to airspace restrictions and the weather often restrict the rate at which you can frequently revisit the same type. But in Astagan's case, what it can do is fly between those two, two positions. It's low enough in order to get the resolution and high enough in order to be out of the weather and out of the restricted airspace. This technology is available to so many because it is so cost effective. Astagan has the ability to station itself over an area which is very different to most satellite constellations which orbit the Earth on a, on a regular repeat cycle. Astagan fundamentally has the potential to change the economics of capturing large areas of data. And in many countries, the cost of mapping is actually unachievable and accessible for them. And they have huge problems, whether it's environmental problems, whether it's, it's urbanisation challenges, whether it's you know, support to the specific issues a country might have. And with that, we can capture areas that have never really been mapped before uh, at, at a, an economic rate. The project began in 2014 and has been nurtured ever since. Every working detail along the way, tested, evaluated, redesigned or created brand new. Test sites have even been indoors and even in the outback. To make the platform function as efficiently on the ground in extreme hot climates as in the stratosphere at minus 80 degrees centigrade. Rules are being rewritten. We're now using materials in completely new and novel ways. It's a joy to work with some of Britain's best brains. We've been able to call upon the universities, their academics and research departments, and we've worked with some of the greatest specialist engineering firms in the UK. Astagan, built to change the way we look at the world.